Stay still. Today's artist of the day, Maisel Fire. Hello everybody, how are we all doing today? Hope all is well with you. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Hope, um, hope you are well. Sorry for no upload today, yesterday, not yet today, yesterday. Uh, allergies were kicking my ass and I would have uploaded earlier, but I had to go to court. But it's okay, I beat the case. I didn't murder the person. I'm kidding. No. Um, yeah, for those who have been here for a little bit, if uh, you watched my podcast episode talking about um, what happened on my graduation day, you would have known that I got in a car uh, accident. Um, or, yeah, if no one got hurt, you're fine. I got in a car accident on the way to graduation, so I had to go deal with the ticket, and it was dealt with. Oh, that's good. We're here now. It was. I had to wake up at like fucking hell 7 15 a.m to get up at nine just had to get deal with but it's handled so that's why i know uploads that's why i went straight and i came back and i went i ate and i went straight back to bed um which is very rare rare for me but we're here you guys obviously aren't here for my my transgressions through life you're here for the music reviews and that's what we're here to do um this is our 98th uh artist of the day we're two away from um from a hunt from the big triple triple digits i just want to say thank you so much for the support uh, we've been getting on not just this series but all my series and honestly all the interactions i have like i think my another video of mine just hit a hundred something um i believe it was my black polish track review just hit it just entered my i think it's my seventh video that's in 100 plus 100 plus views which is absolutely insane I appreciate all the support on the 200 subscriber special. If you haven't checked that out, be sure to go check that out. It's it's a bit lengthy, but I try to make it entertaining. It's story it's story basically talking about my college experience because I did a precursor to college. I go check that out. About 20 views on it. It's actually not bad, and, and the retention rate is pretty solid. So thank you so much. It's been a minute since I wore this too. God damn! If you've been here for a minute, you know how. Or you see any of my clips, you know how long I used to wear these, but. My hair was getting out of mess, and I had to wear something nice. I had to wear a suit. I was going to record in the suit, but then I was like, bump that. Now, Maisel Fire is an artist I found I found randomly. I can't remember. I think I was just scrolling through and through Instagram. Either through Instagram or it was just through my Spotify, like, recommended or whatever. And I, like, don't, haven't heard a single thing from them, but, they're in, but the aesthetic remind me a lot of Skype. Um, which, you know, shout out to him, shout out to that guy, and, and just the style, and then I'm looking at the length of the songs, they're like a minute, two minutes, which is reminding me a lot, like, are these like the Finesse Mo type, your stepdad type, uh, like, artist, and it's like, also, they got like 700,000 streams, which is insane. It was Instagram, I remember, because now I'm looking at the Instagram, and, uh, and, and she says Aqua Trap, hash, like, hashtag Aqua Trap. Which um, is interesting because I haven't actually heard that, but I can picture in my mind how that sounds. And I also see that she's also followed by Ayo Witty, so she's bound to have quality. If you guys want to check out any of uh, Maisel Fire stuff, or I'm just going to call her Maze. I can't be asked to call her Maisel Fire. Awesome name, but to say it all the time, god damn. If you want to check out any of Maze's music, I'll leave a link down below uh, to the Instagram and the, the link tree. Be sure to go support her music, go stream it. Um, at least she just released something, so uh, we'll listen to that, definitely. Um, and yeah, go support her, go leave her a follow. There's no description to read, uh, so I guess before we jump into it, uh, if you guys don't know how Artist of the Day works, we pretty much take uh, upcoming artists from any genre, from anywhere, uh, and we listen to three to five songs of them. We talk about what we like, about each song and then at the end of the day I give my opinion and a rating towards the end that being said the first track is called 9 25 p.m. okay so I assume she might be on her Drake shit this is like prime TikTok audio right now like the the, the prime. wait have I heard this before this is kind of wavy wait a minute This is wavy, what the fuck? Yeah. So smooth, the mix on it. Swag, swag right now. Ooh. Uh, uh, uh. I can't dance. 
Uh, uh, uh. Uh, give it to the night, yeah. Damn it. I can't dance. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. That's fantastic, though. That is great. That is great quality stuff right there. First track, I really enjoy that. I can see why that's, like, trendy. I, I feel like a part of me's heard her voice before. But then a part of me is also like, I've never heard this song. But then again, there's elements of it. I'm like, hold up, we're giving to the night. That's a call to my soul. What the fuck are we giving it to the night? Because I'm willing to give it if it sounds like this. Mixing was good. Um, I kind of, yeah, the Aqua Trap is kind of what I actually expected it to sound like. Very uh, kind of a, uh, and you use, a, use the word in the definition, aquatic. But like, it does sound kind of drowned out. It's simple and it actually felt a little bit longer in uh, then it actually ran i actually wouldn't have mind if it ran like a little bit longer like i feel like she could have put in a, like a whole second verse and then did the whole get into the night again like that's like earworm that's ear candy that's ear candy your voice is smooth um has great control very good mix everything tight that's going on the playlist it's very vibey and very groovy just so you can get you can get lost in it you can get lost in it and um the voice and her voice and her flow is very um entrancing it's like a very travis scott-esque next track is titled tillyman top I need a hit, man. oh she's rapping over this beat also is featuring hal walker don't know who the hell that is but i just have to say that real quick <laughs> smart she's a genius she's honestly like i would never like I, i'm just an incompetent fool that is genius and I talk, that talk how I feel. Stay quiet, don't yeah only once in my room. yeah so, we get to so is how walker like the guy who made the beat I might, I might sound really stupid but i'm genuinely that's a i'm curious i i genuinely don't know so i'm googling it and considering that there's a guy putting up youtube videos saying how to play the ancient hand whistle um i'm presuming it's not him regardless iconic beat we've all heard that beat before if you haven't you've been living under a rock because i've heard that beat so many times it's like her own remix um again a vibey groovy she had that that really has a aesthetically a lot more like travis scott influence than uh, anything else but um flow is good it's casual laid back vibey groovy same as the last one it's solid, solid song. Felt a little bit short. Feel like she could have gone a little bit longer. But again, that's just me in preference. Next track is titled Seven Seas. And not gonna lie, I'm probably expecting some One Piece references, maybe. I think it's really about to find the, the, the rap rap fruit. All right, I'm gonna stop. I don't even watch One Piece. I don't know why I said that. It's just, just, they're, they're finna get, oh, you ate the flow, flow fruit. All right, stop. Just play the music. Mm -hmm. This is this is oh, this is like wants and needs a level dr drowned out. What the hell? Okay, Sky and and, and Maze need to make a, make the album collab album. This needs to happen. I don't know where I am. I'm lost, but this is great. Uh, I don't know what she's saying, but that she sound amazing. Yeah. I don't know what she's saying, but this is amazing. She sounds like she's in the bottom of a submarine looking for the treasure at the down at the bottom of the Atlantis. Uh, all we need is the Drake feature, bro. I got tans. I got some M's in my life. I got L. I need me some Jesus in my life. Hey, man. Drizzy, I know you watch these videos. Come, hurry up and slide on these, bro. Come on, come on. You know you watch these. <laughs> Like a day oh wait the more I think about that she's kinda gas. Hold on, wait I gotta rewind it one more time just for one spot one specific part. Cause I don't know what she's saying, but that shit sound what Hold up, waiting for the drop, waiting for the drop what? Uh 21, waiting for the drop, yeah, where is the 
She is summoning the ancestors. What is she on? Oh my God. What is, what are we doing? My homies in the afterlife really be out here just bopping to this shit for real. Oh God. Bro, 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 my, bro, my nigga's about to wake up from their graves and just be like, Spooky, scary skeletons. Stop playing, bro. Like, what y'all doing? Yeah, that's a bop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got it. She got it. Even though the mixing is like drowned her out so much and she's so aquatic, like she's literally drowning, like she's doing her best submarine recent impression, like impersonation. Please don't cancel me for that. But despite that, you know, the inflections in the voice, you know, hey, I can't sing, but if I could, I'd want something like that. That's fantastic. I don't know why that just touched my soul a little bit, but it really did. Like my ancestors, they, you know what I'm saying? They in the, they in, they in the back getting sturdy. Like my home dog Henry over here, he really getting sturdy to this. You know what I'm saying? This is groovy. It's oh god damn it! It's going on the playlist. <laughs> it is incredibly incredibly hot. The devil is around me. But anyways, uh, the next track is titled High School. Oh my god, Ronnie face that. That that 808 is insane. Yo. Doing 140 on the highway to 21. That is such an aggressive That is so aggressive 808, it's like almost hilarious. Honestly, you could just take the melodies of any of her beats and then just slap some like audio and make it the most depressing or aesthetically pleasing thing in the world. I know you honestly really could. That drop is tough. It is a bit on the shorter side, I will say. Um, it is being the sh it being the shortest song that we've listened to so far. Um, it feels like it lacks like the direction the other ones lack, but it's still very. Um, I like it. I still like it. It still has the. The, the aesthetic very well. I really I really would love to see like what her, what her and like Skype would do on like a song because I just it's like it's that um, they might have already done one and I'm just like late to the party. But if it hasn't, I'm putting it out in the universe. If she sees this, you know what I'm saying? Skype, you know he's a he's a big friend on the channel. He's a big supporter of the channel. So feel free. And when y'all make that song, if y'all need a remix. Hit your boy up. I am a producer and a rapper. Hit me. Hit your boy up. Solid song. But in comparison to this, I probably wouldn't come back to that one. That probably has to grow on me. I'll, I'll probably have to see off camera if I like that more. But solid nonetheless. And the final track we listen to is titled Ghost. I'm on a magical adventure to a winter wonderland. I don't know why. Oh my god, that bass is insane. I'm on my own. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I'm going ghost. Okay. 21, 21, 21. Just the delicacy of her voice just makes this so good. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'll be better off alone. Oh, that's a wavy flow. That really, you know, put that on the playlist. That is a wavy flow. I don't know what else to really say about the song besides, like, I like, I like everything. Everything that I like about the previous ones, I like about that one. Um, but I can't care. I'd be adventure on my own. Like, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's going on the playlist. If you wonder why I had to look away from my mic, because if I know my voice is, I'm so loud that I don't want to destroy this new fantastic mic that I bought, you know, with the college's money. I just have to just go over here and just, you know, just be back here and just go, all right, that was Mazel Fire, or Maze, <clears throat> for short. Excuse me. How am I feeling about them overall? Uh, I like her a lot. I think um, I think she has a really great... Her biggest strength is that she has a really great ear for melody. And I like how, the, how catchy they, they can be. And like really just the ability to have them stuck in your head. Um, like Ghost is... Like pretty much every... every Every song that I've re that I, uh, heard so far really has one element of it, at least, um, that is stuck in my head that I could just 
even if you don't even understand the full words, you just know. Which is really honestly a great thing to have, especially when you're trying to like make catchy songs and all that. Like she really has captured the essence of really good melodies aesthetically. Um, the the vibe that she creates is like with this dark again the aquatic trap I definitely see really this drowned out atmosphere that you know honestly you see you know, you see in like Travis Scott songs uh, and like honestly slower Drake songs. Um, but the big, honestly, the big, if I, the, aqua, the closest thing I guess to Aqua Trap would be like Wants and Needs that I've ever heard, like sat down and really been like, that's Aqua Trap. I didn't even know that it was really a genre, so I learned something new today. Or it's like a subgenre of like a subgenre of a genre of a song, whatever the hell. She performs it great, and I think she's captured the essence of the sound. I like her flow. I like her voice. Her cadences are good. She sounds very in control. Um, the mixing itself, for the most part, High School and Ghost are where it kind of gets rough. A little bit rough for me in terms of just you don't understand what, entirely what they're saying but high, high school is really the main culprit over it. it's like a little bit in ghost um some and also sometimes like the drums can be like usually when they're tight they're fine but like a harsh the harshness of like the 808 coming in like too punchy almost to i don't know who's like the producers are like they're not credited but shout out to them because the productions and stuff are really solid but like the harshness of like the 808 sometimes is like too much of a contrast to her like delicate and like high melodic singing um or melodic flows or say because it's like singing or sing rap melodic rap kind of fusion influences are obviously like like evident in this um but i really love aesthetically what she presents i love narrative narratively what she presents um wanting to be on top you know finding herself all that stuff all that stuff really just kind of the same themes um i can't really dive too deep because they are in such short songs so it's hard to really pick apart piece by piece off a of first listen when the songs are like a minute and a half on average I mean, off camera obviously i'll be able to dissect it better but i really enjoyed what i heard today i really really liked pretty much every song here i had pulled almost every song in my playlist i have uh, and i know i have 925 let me scroll all the way down this is a long ass playlist which i will do a um I will do a video on that shortly. I have 9.25 p.m., Seven Seas and Ghost on here. Um, but all the songs are really solid, so awesome work to all those involved. If I was to give her a rating, I would give Maze a strong 7 to a light 8 overall. A uh, really solid job, really awesome work. If you guys want to check out anything we've heard, uh, anything that you want to hear in its entirety, leave a link down to her music, leave a link down to her Instagram. Go give her a follow, go support her. Um, she's awesome people. While you're down there, follow me on Instagram. I know she has like 14.3 and we have 330. Let's let's try to reach that goal and beyond. Also really just to keep up with the, with updates of my channel and then per, my per, personal Instagram as well to keep up with what we do with music and all that fun stuff. Speaking of music, we have a new song, my music group, The Balanced Ones. The link down to our music as well as my personal music, Dark Side, uh, is down below as well. We have a new song coming out August 20th titled Superheroes. It's been in the vault for a minute. I'm really excited about it. I think you guys will enjoy it. It's a great gym anthem, I will say that. I'm excited to see what you guys think. So be sure to you know, mark your calendars, talk to the people. You know what I'm saying? Check that out. If you want to be the next video music review in a style like this, it can be Artist of the Day, Track of the Day, Underground Album, or an EP you want me to review. Uh, it can be your music or an artist that you listen to. All you have to do is subscribe, of course, which you should be doing that anyway. Road to 1,000. We just hit 200. Then... Uh, follow the Instagram, both Instagrams, like I said, my personal and the podcast, they're in the descriptions of all my videos. And then just message either account, I'm active, I, I answer all messages. Um, and just, yeah, message me what a link to whatever it is you want to review. Or if you have a list of artists, feel free to type me out a list and send me at least their Instagram so I know like where to go find their stuff. I take requests top priority or everything. My list is getting longer and longer each day. And so considering I have to go back in college in like a week to the day, uh, I'm going to try to cram out as much videos, as, video, as many videos as possible. So the sooner you send it in, the better. Today's artist of the day was Maisel Fire. Uh, be sure to check her out. Links all down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Stay hydrated. Love y'all. Bye-bye.